12 for UpperMichiganSource.com. I'm meteorologist Sean Householder with your weather on demand. Well, it is unseasonably warm today out ahead of the next front. We'll see late day clouds, maybe a raindrop this afternoon and evening, and then we'll have to talk about a pretty significant cool down for the second part of the week. Now, flood warnings continue for the sturgeon and for the Michigami, and uh, I think that the sturgeon should be downgraded to a flood advisory at some point today that leaves on to noggin and trap rock under flood advisories until further notice still dealing with bankful conditions there but uh, the flood conditions are diminishing as we move throughout the rest of this work week your almanac numbers from yesterday we blew that long term normal high well out of the water even our low was one degree above our long term high for this time of year so uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we were actually six degrees above our long term average national map. Well, we've been tracking this area of closed low pressure across the East Coast, still plaguing parts of the uh, mid Atlantic states and southeast. We're watching this piece of energy moving through to Dakota's parts of Iowa now reporting heavy rain and the leading edge of that moisture now just along the Wisconsin border. We're also tracking a weak cold front and that'll dip south in, in our direction. And those two pieces of energy will combine to affect our weather through the next couple of days right into the uh, second half of the work week. Just a few sparse clouds across west central upper peninsula, mainly clear otherwise. And it's a lot, a lot of sunshine for today. It's a mild start for today. Look at Quebec reporting a 55 degrees just this morning and we'll see uh, much warmer temperatures as we move throughout the day. So high pressure slides east that allows this frontal boundary to work eastward slowly, taking its sweet time to get here so we get plenty of opportunity for sun today. But reinforcing cold air behind this front will actually bring this Canadian high pressure well into the upper peninsula. Winds out of the north keep it brisk Thursday into Friday right into the weekend. We may see a few flurries fly for your weekend. It'll be noticeably colder, not expecting much accumulation though. Back to today, plenty of sunshine, especially as you look east. Temperatures into the upper 70s to around 80 with all that sun and then increasing late day clouds in the west. We may squeeze out an afternoon rain shower this evening. Rain becomes more likely in the west tonight, mostly cloudy. Temperature centered around 40 degrees, upper 30s, low 40s. And then for tomorrow, mostly cloudy. Rain continues in the west, especially in the morning, and then we'll eventually dry you out into the afternoon. But look how cool we struggled to reach into the 50s, especially in the west. Your TV six day forecast. Well, we have to uh, deal with that cold air. We tap into even colder air for the weekend, and then we actually do warm up for Monday.